All right, thank you, Joshua and Mick. Lucy is going to visit as many asteroids in the faraway belt of Jupiter as we've ever discovered for near-Earth asteroids. And to get there, Lucy will need the right rocket and the right trajectory to carry out this historic mission. So let's talk a little bit about the orbit. So this spacecraft is going out 530 million miles away from the sun. That's far, and it takes a careful orbit to get there. Yes, what happens is you have to use Earth gravity assist to slingshot yourself to each of the different asteroid trojans. So Lucy weighs about the same weight as a mid-sized vehicle, 3,400 pounds or so. Yeah. So it's pretty heavy. What kind of thrust does this rocket need to get it up off the ground and into space? The max thrust on this particular rocket is about 930,000 pounds of thrust and to get Lucy on a trajectory that's going about maybe 27,000, 28,000 miles per hour. Getting their final configurations in place and making sure the rocket is ready for a T-0 liftoff this morning so the team will be working very quickly. Yeah, and uh, opposed to the missions that we might be used to with where we're hitting a low Earth orbit trajectory, uh, this one is going into deep space, and so we'll be exceeding uh, escape velocity of Earth this morning. Uh, so that's up and over 25,000 miles per hour. We know that over the course of Lucy's mission, she will get up to about 400,000 miles per hour. So very, very fast with all those Earth uh, gravity assists. And for those... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. Atlas V takes flight, sending Lucy to uncover the fossils of our solar system. Parker. So beautiful launch sequence there. Uh, we do have uh, another minute and a half or so to go with the booster in operation, uh, getting uh, loose. We're now just under three minutes into flight. Atlas is 33 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour.
So Lucy being lifted up out of the atmosphere by the booster, getting on its way into a park orbit uh, before we get towards... Uh, uh, first stage vehicle systems are operating as expected at this time. Future, uh, future portions of the launch activity, we have the, the Centaur multiple burns ahead and spacecraft separation. And the big milestone we should see Josh coming up is booster engine cutoff, which would be the first stage cutoff and then stage... The main engine is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. We're going to see a few things happen pretty rapidly. The, the booster will cut off just after four minutes, and then within the next 15 seconds after that, we should see the Atlas separate from the Centaur, and then the Centaur engine ignite for its first burn. Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence, and the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill down sequence has completed, and we have Pico booster engine cutoff, and a successful state separation event. So what you're seeing on screen is an animation that's being driven by actual telemetry. Set on the RL-10. So we are watching these things uh, in an animation happen here, but they're happening in real time as well. And that's one. We have ignition for the first burn. All right, so there we go. Uh, we should see the, fair, the fairing jettison here. We have indication of good payload fairing jettison. And there we go. All right, Nick, so that wraps up the, the first round of, of major milestones here. Uh, still very much in the middle of dynamic flight. The uh, system on the RL-10 is now in an open-loop burn-off mode to burn off excess fuel in the early portion of this burn. So walk us quickly through, Mick. What are we looking for uh, in the next, in this burn and the next one? So this burn is going to end with uh, Miko uh, getting... Uh, Centaur and Lucy into its park orbit around Earth, and then we will then get into MESS-2, which will get us into that transfer orbit, getting Lucy on its way. Awesome. So that's going to do it for now, uh, finishing up the initial launch activities, everything sounding like it's going perfect.